So I reiterate here, the bill is dead. The story of this great city is about the years before this night. We are free! Hey everybody, it's Ho Ho Hong Kong on a beautiful Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whenever you're listening to the show. What are you, Craig David? <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> the yeah. days of the week, look at you showing yeah. off that yeah. I'm, I'm awake, we're doing a daytime yeah, today. Yeah, on a Wednesday, we went on a exactly, Saturday. Yeah, something like, like, what I, is the song? I forgot that was like, but I, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Like that one. Like, it's just the song that ends for every night he bangs her. That's something all like, I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then next door, Shaggy saying, it wasn't me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always have that. It's a competing artist going like, he's doing that but that yeah. wasn't me it was somebody <laughs> else you know don't mix it up <laughs> but yeah it's good yeah it's okay good to so do. i'm Mohammed magdi he is vivek mabubani and for the change we're doing this during the daytime yeah we're semi-awake well we're pretty awake i would say yeah i'm pretty awake yeah i, yeah, I just came back from yoga and i pounded like four coffees so yeah. i'm very awake there's the ir- irony where Mohammed went to yoga and i didn't <laughs> <laughs> you know and yeah. everyone's kind of like let me i was make- appropriating your culture exactly right i mean this is the situation i get whenever i go to a restaurant with let's say an, uh, an american modern chinese yeah. And the waiter comes to that other person like, so uh, would you like to order in Cantonese? And I'm like, nope, I'm the guy to talk to. Yeah. In this situation, it's like, oh, who went to yoga? Must be him. No, no, no. It's, it's Mohammed <laughs> who did it. I remember I had a girlfriend. She was from Mongolia and she was living in Shanghai. And every time we go out, we... I spoke pretty decent Mandarin, yeah. Even at the time, and then just the waiter would just like automatically just look at her. Oh yeah. And just expect she spoke zero Mandarin. She had she was <laughs> new in, in China, and they were just like I would start ordering. Yeah. Literally, they would just the waiter would just avoid like ignore my existence. They can't acknowledge. I'm it. like no, not even like he's like that doesn't no. Yeah. It's no. Just, he doesn't exist. Yeah. I'm like I'm ordering chicken and rice and like I'm talking about he's the looking menu. At the girlfriend going like, and he's just looking at her like what are you fucking retarded? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Looking at going like confirm that that's what I've yeah. heard from this yeah. other sound that I'm and hearing. And she's telling him like talk to him. Yeah. And he's like no, yeah. you're the <laughs> Chinese yeah, looking yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, you should be the one I want to speak to. <laughs> I've been trained in the textbook by corporate to right. speak to the fellow Chinese person, yeah. and not this other foreigner. Just and the crazy part is that she's not even Chinese. Obviously, oh. it's like you're not even looking at the. But she's closer to Chinese than you are. That's a problem. Oh, for sure. That's yeah, why yeah. they were like, well, this is a, you know a rounding up. Yeah. <laughs> she's like <laughs> the closer distance. I'm like, I I I know Mongolia. Yeah. This other thing that next to you, I. I have no idea. Yeah. The reference point is not happening. <laughs> and to also, me. why is he speaking to me in sounds that I can't understand? Right. And I while the Chinese face is not. Exactly. So, like, that's the issue that the waiter probably is looking at you, hearing the sounds. He's saying, I've heard chicken. Yes. All this stuff is happening, but yeah. it cannot be chicken. <laughs> it must be in English. Yeah. And I've never heard the word chicken <laughs> in that sound yeah. in any that's other language. Tiro. Yeah, yeah. Tiro. They're like, I don't know what language that is. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's uh, same for me. I've had many situations where people talk to me, like I'm talking to them in Cantonese, yeah. and they look at me and they're like, "I just can't yeah. respond." Your face does Cantonese. not match the sounds you're making. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's like literally like a Chris Tucker thing. Like, can you understand the words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. happening all the time for me. So yeah. it's come to the point now that I I kind of get used to it, and yeah. I'm just like expecting it. And when they respond in English, I'm like, oh, it's okay, don't worry. Yeah. Like, I, I tell them, oh, by the way, you're speaking in English. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> you're like, just letting you know. Yeah. You're making the mistake without realizing. Right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, speaking of English, man, I mean, like, uh, the, the good thing is that now English shows are happening, Catholic yeah. shows are happening. Yeah. The world is speaking. Big People shows are, are like, so we had the very uh, first big show after COVID uh, shenanigans yeah. Yeah, yeah. in, in uh, Hong Kong. We went together. Yeah. We had a little cute uh, Hong, Hong, Hong Kong date. Yeah, exactly. Um, we, we, uh, this was the well, we need to say a big shout show. out to our buddy Andy who sorted out the tickets. By Thank the you way, so Andy much. Curtin, appreciate. Yeah, he sorted out our tickets. Uh, comp tickets. We were pretty close to the front. I was shocked. Very nice. Yeah. I walked in. and I was like, they were like, oh, you can sit there. They were like row R. I was like, I walked in. Like, this is R. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this yeah, is yeah. insane. <laughs> yeah. So what happened is uh, Russell Peters came to Hong Kong. Yeah, that's right. The day after. Speaking Valentine. of Indians. Yeah, speaking very, of Indians. Very, yeah. Look at that transition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking. We should have done it with a yoga. It would have been more yeah. seamless. But no, no, no. Yeah. Actually, it's correct because he and myself are also Indians, not from India. Right. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, so we're kind of like Indian, but not really the yeah. r- authentic, original OG Indian. So I think yeah. that works out. But yeah, what happened is he came to Hong Kong, performed at Star yeah. Hall, which is like this place called Kai Tech, which uh, which used to be known for all the rave parties in Hong Kong. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was like just the old airport. Uh, it was next to the old airport, but mm. like this was the rave party. So zone. Star Hall itself? 
Uh, that, whole, that, that, that whole area, high tech yeah, okay. used to be it, because like you would know all, and it used to be called high tech before. Okay. But then they realized, oh, we have to say Hong Kong for actual stuff on Hong Kong Island. <laughs> <laughs> Make it, making right. sure people know that this is actually Kowloon that you can right, do. Right. It. So there was that, and then we. Oh, went. that's so funny! Is that why they changed it? I believe from so. High tech yeah. to Kai tech. It really used to be high tech. Because <laughs> when I was young, and yeah. I was like, people are like, oh, we're gonna go to high tech. I'm like, why is it high technology? What's going on? Yeah, that's what I thought. Right? And then, but it's because of it was Hong, it's like for Hong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, yeah, exactly. And then they changed it to Kai tech. Yes, Kowloon. Yeah, exactly. That's so. You funny. know, and I guess some some management guy was like, you know, Kai Tech Airport. Yeah. This sounds like Kai Tech. You right. know, it's just like, oh, that's a great idea, John. You know, <laughs> and they're like they went with that. So Russell actually made a reference to just like, I, of course, I would go into something else. Russell made a reference to Kai Tech Airport. Obviously, I have not. Have you seen it in your lifetime? In my lifetime, yes. Y- have you flown into I've it? I've flown, but like when you're in the plane, you don't notice the oh, we swerved away from the mountain. But that right. was the thing. Like, so I, yeah, that I've his reference yeah. just for for the listeners, he, he made a reference to Kai Tak Airport being like so close to the mountain very difficult and then you have to like swerve around correct it. yeah that was like I think a very well known thing that when you come to Hong Kong it's yeah. like oh this is the this is the big one really this is the one where the pilot gets the challenge you know that's so cool yeah yeah it was very cool I mean like oddly enough uh, I would have thought they would go to Feng Shui Master yeah. to figure like you know that mountain is not in the right place <laughs> right. but you know like British colony they were like ah, yeah. get, get this Feng Shui guy so out of my face did the Brits uh, f- uh, build it I believe so it must have been during that time I mean I highly doubt before uh, the British took over that we had airports right let yeah, alone yeah. planes coming into Hong yeah. Kong. <laughs> it would have yeah. been pretty dumb that they came and took over Hong Kong through boats and they're like, we could yeah. have flown here? Yeah. What was the point of that? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he did reference that one and how like he was alive enough to fly into Hong Kong right. in a plane that went through Kai Tak. Yeah. While some people in the Which was a really cool reference yeah, because I mean, he's he he obviously been ca- coming here for, yeah. for uh, I think he obviously does a lot of crowd work and that bit was like him picking on like a young, young guy kid, or whatever yeah. Yeah. and he said that he has been coming to Hong Kong before that kid was born or Correct. something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least he said 1999 something like That's that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. And the thing I best remember about Kai Tech Airport is that the look and feel of it is pretty much like Heathrow Airport. In, I've never been to Heathrow. So it's got that typical, like, every sign is, like, yellow color. Oh, uh, right. Then so again, it's like it, a very traditional kind yeah, of Yeah, the old school, look. you know, like, uh, the lights like are a bit that. warmer, yeah, that yeah. kind of old thing. So you have, it used to be like that, I remember. Yeah, the airports now are all, like, just feel like hospitals. Yeah, because they get the bright blue. The bright like, blue, like, yeah, 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 blue yeah. I hate it. Yeah, it's the, so, the, the, like... Like uh, yeah, I guess you gotta like be uh, like alert. Yeah, but you don't have. It's not welcome. It's not cozy. Yeah, like, exactly. No, I think that's the thing. They don't want it to be cozy. They're like, get the fuck out. Like, what are you, Tom Hanks filming a movie? <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> yeah, now I'm thinking I want to go through any airport I've been to. I'm like, that's. A, I mean, there are airports that are just like good in terms of convenience. So Qatar was quite dimly lit. I remember when I was in Qatar. I haven't airport. been to the new one. Oh, okay, Because that's okay. the one they built for the World Cup. That's yes, the one yes, you yes. went through yes, recently. Yes, yes. Uh, I that haven't was, been to that, that one. Was quite di- I mean, it was nighttime, so maybe it was all the outside light that wasn't coming in, but it was still pretty dimly lit. And I was like, mm. this is weird. Like, why is it so dim? You know what I mean? Right. Electricity is that you know, expensive or something? Yeah. But I've done a few of those. But generally, yeah, you're right. Most airports are like the daylight light. Yeah. And so you walk and you're like, okay, I'm still awake. I'm, yeah. I'm jet lagged. I'm tired, but I can't sleep. Yeah. Yeah, you have that. Qatar airport, though, I must say, one thing I don't like about it, the new one, mm. no free water. Oh, no. No water fountains. Really? No, nothing. Yeah, nothing, dude. Do you think it was a COVID thing? Might be. Yeah. Unlikely. Because you traveled like during, still like... I went like, yeah, last year in July, in 2022. Yeah. So when I was there, now this is what I do, right? Everybody who's ever traveled with me will know I travel with two liters of water in my bag. Mm. All right? For a few reasons. Number one is I want to stay hydrated. Yeah. Number two, I don't want to get ripped off. <laughs> okay? That's Actually, fair. Priority-wise, I don't want to get ripped off, and yeah. then I want to stay hydrated, yeah. right? Yeah. So that time we went through security to go for trans- for the transit area, mm. and I was like, dude, this is a high-tech airport. You know, it has all these labels. Like, oh, best airport in the world. I'm like, okay, if that, I, I'm confident they have water. Yeah. I go in there with the family. We're in there looking around i'm like where's the water i even asked the concierge like i don't do that i never go to customer service and mm. ask and the and it was a guy mm. let me clarify something okay yeah when you have a customer service that's a guy <laughs> he's judging you yeah of okay? course yeah. there's none of that oh no sir we don't yeah. know this but he's looking like you <laughs> idiot we're too poor to buy water you know <laughs> right you have that and then uh yeah so i had to actually buy water and i would shop around since we had like four it's hours it's so to kill. funny when you like yeah you see a customer service guy like person who's a guy yeah and the experience is so different because you feel like he's judging you as a oh, person absolutely. Just, like 
you know, a girl who's like, oh yeah, how can because I then you, you project yourself onto that person. Yeah. I would do the exact same thing. Yeah, I'm like, that's oh, right. What kind of a fool doesn't know where the water <laughs> is. You know? like, I would do that. So I, I don't feel bad, but I kind of go like, I know what he's thinking. Bill Burr has an old bit about like how a guy, his waiter, offered him a cookie after a meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> like, like uh, offended what? he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's like, all I heard is like, do you want a cookie, you pussy? pussy, pussy. <laughs> and With it's the like, echo. here's the worst part. I wanted the cookie. Yeah, I, I just didn't want him to offer it. Exactly. He's like, I call it. I call the cookie, not you. Absolutely, right? <laughs> That's the struggles as men that we yeah. have, you know? Like, people don't get this. Yeah. We always talk about, you know, equality and DEI and stuff. I'm like, I, I fully support that, but I'm like, you need to understand. Yeah. We have our own struggles. Yeah. Now, we created for ourselves. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't blame nobody for this. This no. is all us, right? Yeah, yeah so <laughs> I, I think that's the one thing about Qatar Airport. I remember that I was a bit disappointed. And, you know, I was like, uh, I did find a plug, so I had power to my laptop. Nice. So that kept me distracted, not hydrated, yeah. distracted. <laughs> did, you not, did you not try to, like, find a compromise by getting, like, tea or something? Um, Cause so tea is like basically water, kind right? Of, yeah, but then the tea was like even more expensive, uh, and really? it was all yeah. Like, but you get tea at least, yeah, true, right? yeah, something different. Yeah, but I don't know. Like I was adamant on water, and I did find small balls of water, and I ended up just sipping. <laughs> 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 I was like, I'm still wetting my lip, but yeah. you know, not <laughs> enough for me to get lose the money. Yeah. So a lot of that was happening, but yeah. Actually, I do remember now the one airport you have been to Singapore. Yes, Air, Singapore airport is pretty that nice. That is insane. It's a dude. really nice airport. That is like an amusement park in yeah. itself. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's still got the and old it's, school. And it's like yeah, it's still it's not as like brightly. Lit, like, yes, yeah. gonna, it's, it's the old school style. Exactly. When I first went to Singapore the first time at the airport, which mm. I'm sure when you get there, you're like, everything's carpeted, okay? Right. And you're like, okay. And my favorite thing about that place, yeah. at the gates, if you're lucky at your gate, yeah. they have the foot massage. Thing. Yes. That yeah, is yeah, yeah. insane. Amazing. Like, yeah. I remember when I used to fly there, and if I see that foot massage thing, I will stay there. I don't yeah. care if people looking at me going like, oh, sir, do you yeah. want to share? Yeah. Because I know you're on the same flight as me. Yeah, exactly. So, no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> that's the my best. chair. Yeah, that's yeah. my chair. I got here first. But it, uh, the I must butterfly say. Butterfly garden, super nice. Beautiful. It's so relaxing. It's so good. Like, I thought actually the first time I went, I thought it was kind of gimmicky. So, I, you know, I'm a pretty cynical person. Like, I can I, I can judge stuff before even seeing it. Correct. I'm like, I'm going to go there to, see, to confirm that yeah. I know it sucks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'm going there I'm like yeah it sucks what a gimmick I'm yeah. just gonna post about how didn't how, need that you know yeah whatever we didn't need that yeah. haha and I go there I'm like I'm very relaxed it's so nice it's insane it's very distracting like I literally put my phone away I just kept looking because there's also like bees and stuff like you know honeycombs like yeah it's, it's re- it's full on. It's full on. I mean, yeah. I, they also had like this big clock that is this abstract clock where like it doesn't tell you the number, but yeah. it says shapes and you figure out the time. Yeah, yeah. They got that. Yeah. Um, the new terminal, I think, is the one that they got a bit more b- a blue light, brighter light. Thing. Oh. The old classic one and two. Yeah. That has got the comfortable. I love that, one. that is really good. Really nice. Really, really There's good. It's a big waterfall thingy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have that entertainment area. Yeah. Sometimes I think I flew out once when there was like some lady playing violin. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Just to like relax everybody Correct, or whatever yeah. see that nice. that is so smart yeah and it's it's not huge it's compact and cozy yeah that's why i i definitely give props to singapore or changi airport yeah they deserve to be like the best one in the world i agree yeah, yeah that yeah. one as well and that's the place actually inspired me one of my older bits i had was talking about how there's a gym at the airport because mm. over there what i okay so i'll tell you this there's right? a so, gym there's a gym oh wow so i was walking around and i saw like entertainment area yeah. lounge and everything i said gym and i was like why is there a gym at the airport yeah now logical brain tells me yeah because people are transit they have nothing to do go work right. out some people go for business trips and this is the only time they get to work out great i get that mm. so i go to the gym i walk in first thing that i ask is like is there like a membership mm. and they're like uh no sir <laughs> this is an airport <laughs> what, what do you think i like, mean your membership is your ticket yeah if and, you're flying yeah if you manage to get into the airport <laughs> exactly. you're a member i'm like oh do you have to sign up for a 24 month contract yeah. and stuff like that and in my head i'm thinking like wow you must be such a badass right like when people travel and they're like oh i went to bangkok to see the mountains and you're like i went to singapore to work out right like yeah, that's yeah. pretty badass yeah. right so i go there and i'm i'm, I'm look, looking around i'm not gonna work out because i have my flight soon mm. and i'm looking around I'm like okay treadmill weights and everything i'm all right and then they, they show me the the bathrooms and all that there's you know the shower area yeah if i remember correctly back then there were not that many showers mm. there were way more equipment than showers right which means there's a possibility let's say 
everyone on the, the, the next flight that I'm on right. is working out. Yeah. 10 people working Not out. Not everyone showered. Exactly. Oh, right? no. It will yeah. happen because someone's going to be like, oh, I think it's time to go shower. Yeah. And they realize everyone's thinking the same thing. <laughs> Singapore airport does have free showers outside. I think so, actually. yeah. But then that requires you to take your smelly self yeah, that's all the true. way to that shower. In very humid country, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's humid. That's yeah. the only one thing I don't like is like it's always humid. Oh, there's many things I don't like. Let's just stay oh, at the airport. The airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's not leave the airport. I agree with that. The <laughs> airport is a good one. The moment you step out, you're like, ah. Yeah, yeah. Can I go back? To yeah, the exactly. Give me Changi again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I highly recommend if you get a chance, uh, go to Singapore as transit. Yeah. <laughs> or go to Singapore yeah. as tourists. <laughs> that, then you definitely. I think enjoy as tourists is fine. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, Three it, days. it's a Hong Kong hobby to like talk shit about Singapore. Yeah. And there are a lot of stuff that are cool about it. I think we might have covered this a long time ago on the podcast. But like, I think, yeah, three days. Three days. I always say three days is yeah. the limit. I've never enjoyed myself past the third day. I have canceled show, like i would usually do omar's gig on like a tuesday yeah and then i tried to hook up with the other guys for the weekend yeah and i've canceled the second show a couple of times because i was so bored yeah i was like that's the sorry one guys thing. i'm just gonna i'm sorry right? i'm just like not I, coming universal studios done night safari done i'm just like okay then yeah. what day are we on we're still on the first day <laughs> yeah. how am i still on the first day because the night safari is at night ah oh, you idiots yeah. <laughs> why did you do that yeah. why are you making this stuff efficient right yeah yeah so three days i always tell people go there enjoy it try everything eat everything three days time you've done you've yeah. covered the whole place yeah yeah that's definitely something you want to try i mean i do want to come back like because last time i was there 2019 so basically right before covid my friends obviously a lot of people from hong kong moved to singapore and they say it's like it's much more like like there's a lot of more outdoorsy stuff to do so apparently my very close friend who moved there recently said that the whole city is now bike friendly like there are bike lanes everywhere oh, okay. which i'm really i'm up impressed for. Yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. I'm, I'm really into because Shanghai is like that, and that's one thing I don't like about Hong Kong is how it's so not bike friendly yeah. or scooter friendly. It would save me so much time. Yeah, if I could scoot around and bike yeah. around, my God. I'm so used to electric scooter. Even after living here for almost four years, I still miss my electric scooter and how convenient it was. Obviously, here there's a lot the of hills, uphill yeah. and downhill, but there's still like you know Queens Road, for example, is a pretty straight. Yeah, just do a bike lane there. Correct. Yeah, I know? mean. Even All the main, bikes. like, Devu, Queen Road, like, the ones that cut a yeah. along the island, yeah. you can have bike lanes there. Honestly, scooter lane. The bike yeah, lane. yeah, like, yeah. Forget even the bikes. I think bikes being too bulky and everything. Yeah. I get it, especially yeah. in Hong Kong here, this area. Yeah. But, yeah, scooter lane. Scooter and scooter, bicycles. Scooter, you're holding onto your yes. arm and walk down there, and boom, you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, would love that. The whole promenade of Hong Kong from Kennedy Town all the way to, like, Taiwan. Yeah. Just make, like, one scooter lane. Exactly. Done. Yeah, yeah. That would be so good. That would be very good. And Hong yeah. Kong is obviously all about rules. Like, you can make it illegal for people to go on, like, up and down here, like, sign point and this, because that is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do not want to do that. So you can make it illegal there. But then on the main flat streets, Devu, Queens Road, and all of that, you can just make it, yeah, yeah. make bike lanes. Exactly. It would be very cool. Yeah. Well, anyway, balls in your court, Hong Kong government. So, so uh, Russell Peters yeah, came. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you anything. When he arrived in Hong Kong, he probably had to say the one phrase they, they're trying to push everyone to say, which is "Hello, Hong Kong." Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he opened very weirdly because he op literally the first words that came out of his mouth was "Good afternoon." Yeah. Which was, was a very evening strange show. opening. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was maybe yeah, some was like sort of reference. Or whatever. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so too, but then you know. Obviously, we both have done gigs when you're like, you don't know where the fuck you are yeah, anymore. Yeah, I get it. I get and it. I feel like that was one of these things that he was just on autopilot. Yeah. Was it a blur? He's like, who gives a shit? Yeah. I'm just going to say stuff. Yeah. But uh, just a note on the opening. The opening was very strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Because like the, the whole thing, gunning into the room, as he always has, is the DJ start from scratch, I believe, yeah. doing music. And I was like, okay, nice. Also, yeah. this time it wasn't just music. It was also video of VJing as well. Right, yeah, yeah. So that was nice that to was see. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Opening like weird, like old school kind yeah. of music. Yeah. But well, I'll, let, let, before we get into the show, I want to like talk about the whole uh, getting into. So first of all, it's been a long time before since I've actually gone to Kai Tech or Star Hall or right. that area yeah. to not work. Right. Like yeah. it's. I mean, you're not going to go out of your way to this place. No. Just because you just want to go there. It's a no. got a few shots, but there's nothing that you go like. I have to go there to buy. And the, the, that that uh, that that mall is also like weird in the sense that. It, I don't imagine it being like fully functional when there is no show like this. Yeah. Because there's like whole two floors that are basically empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's very weird. It's really weird. Like, it feels I, like an abandoned kind of mall. So I think what's happened over there is that they try to use the mall concept, mm. but then Megabox came out, Telford Plaza, all that stuff is like right. way too convenient next to the train yeah. station. You're so far off. Yeah. So what they try to do is they'll have big exhibitions of booths, mm. you know, like a, like a bazaar. 
Right. And yeah. that way will attract a whole bunch of people to come in and then they'll come to the shops as well. Of course, yeah. they're hoping for the shows will drive. And But then if you're coming for a show, you're not going to be like, let me shop before the show. Yeah. You're not thinking of that. Yeah. Why is there like, you know, clothes shop? Exactly. Right? Who's getting yeah. it? Then again, there's clothes shops in the MTR station. So, <laughs> you know, it's always confusing. For I mean, everybody. that, that uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I think that's okay. Like, you know, if you're like, oh, I mean, shit, I forgot my jacket. I get it. Yeah. I mean, but my point is like, the, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think there's enough people in Hong Kong are forgetting like the <laughs> shirt. Right. To justify a full shop. You That's know? true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. One of those, like, what I'm saying is that uh, in Kai Tech as well, you have obviously a lot of food. Mm. You have, like, I believe a parking shop as well. Right. You have the 759 shop as well so for mm. snacks. So people go there, buy their stuff, and come back. Sure. And that's the goal. Mm. But a closed shop, I'm like, well, this is weird. It is weird. View TV, though, the channel 9699, yeah. they have their studio there. Right. So, so it looks very nice. Looks like very you cool. showed it to me. Yeah. It looks very, like, yeah, like very, stu- very studio, hip, like very new studio yeah, kind yeah, of like yeah. feel. Legit kind of has a yeah. big screen at the entrance thing. Like, Old just class, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, that kind of deal. But then what I always do is first of all if you've ever t- went to that gone to that place you know that from the MTR station you have to take a shuttle bus there or yes. walk there yeah right the shuttle bus usually is pretty fast especially mm-hmm. when there's a show but it's one of those shuttle buses where the seats are way too tiny yeah for an English speaking audience <laughs> 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 and I knew I was like right. man this is gonna suck yeah. I'm gonna sit next to this big guy yeah. not happening so I was like I'm just gonna walk over there mm. now before I go there I also know that if you're dumb enough no sorry I shouldn't say that word <laughs> if you end up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you end up actually at Kai Tech and then you're hungry you're limited to the choices that they have <laughs> okay you can go back to dumb enough because <laughs> yeah. you are pointing at me with your other hand <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not saying anybody just yeah. my finger is yeah. Direction. Yeah. Maybe that's the direction for Mecca. Who knows, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, the issue is that I've been there enough times where I'm like, I know exactly what food there is, and I'm not having that. Yeah. I just want to eat properly. I know it'll be a long line. Just like when I go do, do gigs in Asia World Arena. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not limiting myself to like Pacific Coffee. Sure. Right. Yeah. So I had my dinner, everything sorted out beforehand. Went over there. I met you, and I see you at Subway. And yeah. my first <laughs> words was amateurs. Amateur. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Not everyone just comes from home, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I came from my office on the other side of... Hold on, I didn't come from home. I had, like, my whole backpack of trekking, oh, yeah, remember? Did. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Because, like, I had, a, I had a long day from 10.30 in the morning. I had a yeah. school talk, I had meetings, I had this and that. I had a whole bunch of stuff happening, and yeah. then I came straight. So I have a backpack. And anybody who's ever seen me, this is my big bag. <laughs> This is my travel bag where it's like, dude, right, this yeah, guy yeah, is hiking. The proper one. Yeah, the legit. Yeah. This has everything Which in it. Which got you in a bit of trouble when you're walking. Yeah. In, but we'll get to that. But yeah. yes. <laughs> so there is like, yeah, all the fast food options. There is obviously a lot of dummies like yeah, me yeah. <laughs> who made the same mistake. And so I first tried McDonald's. Yeah. Because between Subway and McDonald's, I will pick McDonald's. Fair like enough. Subway fair is enough. just like, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. That, that's just when you're rough. like, just give me some food. Now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Rough. I like the re- there's one reason McDonald's I McDonald's do- at least like you know it's terrible for you but it's like you know drugs yeah it's terrible for you but you're gonna still, enjoy like, it you'll enjoy oh I enjoy right? it enjoy the shit out of it yeah yeah see Subway the yeah. issue the re- the reason I don't eat Subway now for twofold number one enjoyment level is pretty low yeah very secondly, low secondly is when I first started everything like what 15 20 years ago yeah. that was my go to meal because it was so cheap right that'd be every meal of my life which is not cheap anymore not cheap anymore yeah it used to be like I think a 19 Hong Kong dollar for a foot long. What? Yeah, dude. Every Tuesday they have one special meal. Yeah. That is gonna be this one is nineteen bucks today for a foot long. And oh I would go God. there every day and get whatever that is. I mean is. that that will already raise your enjoyment level just on the money that you save. Absolutely. Yeah. So just looking at my wallet while I'm eating exactly. was good enough. <laughs> and I was like, this is still pretty tasty. Yeah. This is a taste of savings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I yeah, that's the one thing I don't do now. Like somewhere yeah, I don't now eat it's at like, all. I think the average foot long sandwich is like a hundred. Yeah, yeah. It's in a foot long probably like yeah, hundred maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's a hundred. Yeah, I think like forty something like for the normal six foot yeah six, foot, six, 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 six inch, inch yeah. and it was like 60 whatever and ah, it was like the standard insane yeah yeah dude it's nuts yeah my wow. god yeah so there you go i mean yeah there was a lot of people over there but yeah mcdonald's had a 30 minute waiting time yeah not happening which i've never seen at a mcdonald's right? in my life before. so much for fast food yeah yeah <laughs> yeah more like uh-huh i'll take I mean, my time so it turns out actually i had thought what do you what do you think uh how many people do you think were at the show I think it was 8,000 or 10,000? No, not that, that wait, yeah. not that much. Actually, oh. we're like very opposite. Oh, really? You, you thought, thought it was like, way more, yeah. and I thought it was way less. Oh, Because it was a sold out show. Yes. And uh, I thought it was like 1,000 people. No, that's way more than 1,000. <laughs> yeah. I, I know what 1,000 looks like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's actually 3,000. It was only 3,000? Yeah, yeah. 3,000 really? people. Yeah. I, am, I am shocked, man. Yeah. Like, 
I really thought that was like 8,000 people. No. But then again, we were sitting all the way in the front. We were so in the, the front, the, yeah. the, the, the cheap tickets were so far away yeah. that I couldn't... Like, normally I watch shows from the back. Yeah. So I can see all the crowd. I'm like, this is exactly... So I think if you stood in the back, you might have had a better idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I checked with Andy who ran the show. Yeah. And it's... Uh, or booked the show, rather. And it's, yeah, 3,100 okay. something. Oh, that's pretty all right. The, yeah. Okay, after COVID and everything, that's, that's pretty Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and Live Nation did a great job. Like, you know, I used to work for them and they have... Uh, like they just like they do spend money on like security and stuff like yeah. that to just like they don't skimp on stuff like that yeah yeah so I the think staffing smooth, is there it's very smooth very smooth like there is no I, I there is no bottlenecks that I can think of yeah you just yeah, go and people smooth. line up rah, 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 rah. you had the security checking bags and this came to the moment uh oh I, I came in and <laughs> so I, yeah we went to Subway we met a few friends who were, were at the show and one of them is Peter Ballock shout out yeah. to Peter who is a good friend of ours and a regular listener and uh, yeah we walk yeah. we go into the show we, we go into the show and this this professional or calling <laughs> other people amateurs yeah, exactly. walks with his huge bag <laughs> and on that one day I decided hey you know what today I have to travel to Taipo in yeah. Shotton it'll be really nice because I'll finish teaching around 5.30 yeah. I'll get the sunset let me get a few shots with me on the sunset and, and you everything. knew you are going to a show later and yeah I had all that in my head but I'll I'm not going to miss it because yeah, again this is when you read too many books about like seize the opportunity right and I'm, <laughs> I'm over there it's a heritage museum yeah. Bruce Lee thing I got to do all that stuff before I come to the show right. so I do all that I get the sunset shot which sucks when I looked at him like that wasn't <laughs> worth it at all right yeah, you know, yeah. seize the moment but add some skill to it right. <laughs> so yeah. I had that I had my camera and my tripod in my bag now my camera's in a pouch in the bottom of my bag and yeah. I just open it up I'm like yeah look what do you want what the guy sees my tripod he's like oh, oh ca camera I'm like it's a yeah. tripod He's like, oh, no. And then he sends me to the other person next door to yeah. collect and keep your uh, items that are, you know, basically prohibited. Yeah. In other words, my huge ass camera right, yeah. is prohibited because, like, God forbid I take that huge thing and start filming the show. I was going to say, to be honest, like, that is kind of dumb to, like, be hung up on that. I understand there are rules. Rules are no cameras. We get it. But at the same time, if you have, like, basically a cinema level, like a cinema yeah. great camera. Yeah. You're not gonna use it because it's so fucking obvious. It's obvious, exactly <laughs> that. Number one, yeah. And number two, I'm like, yeah, hold on. If I really wanted to film this, wouldn't I get like the DJI kind of mini camera exactly. thing? That, you know, the, yeah, the, the travel. You cameras. should be looking for like uh, GoPros, yeah. not like these crazy ones. Yeah, big exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So then they send me over to security, and they're like, oh, we have to keep this until the end of the show. I'm like, no problem. Uh, give me my ticket. Yeah. I'm ticket number one. <laughs> like yeah. they're, even they're confused like oh we have to open this new pack yeah. of ticket numbers just for this guy you <laughs> idiot why yeah. would you do this yeah <laughs> so i give them the thing they keep it away and after the whole show finishes i go collect it there are only two cameras in the box oh, no. and i was like oh someone else did that they're like yeah they didn't realize they had the camera in their bag right yeah, and yeah. i'm like oh my yeah. god look they're at not us. like you still yeah yeah <laughs> they, they came with a mistake Right, I right. came intentionally yeah, in with this. I, I put and the they camera put it in, my in like Ziploc bags. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Actual like food Ziploc bags. Exactly. Bag. I'm like that. <laughs> Which was kind of pointless. Like they could have just kept it. Yeah, the, just keep it. Yeah, box, exactly. Just tag it. Yeah, that's uh, it. In the carry, pouch. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But I guess they wanted to make sure there's no extra things attached. Like, oh, right. oh, there was a keychain. Right. Where's right. the keychain? Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So then I remember we did all that stuff to put the, the camera away. We went and find out, found a seat. Yeah. We sat there, and I think the beginning part, people were coming in. We're looking at the crowd. Like, okay, okay, okay. Now I must say, every time I've ever been to a Russ Peter show whether at watching or helping or whatever mm. I always am shocked about how I don't recognize comedy going faces yeah 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 you know I, I, I can I, I have I share the same impression like yeah. you I'm like these are not obviously you more than me but we both have been in this market for yeah. long enough to kind of have a feel of like oh yeah that's a comedy going yeah like you know it's still You'd a pretty the, small yeah. market it's like oh yeah this is a regular face I've seen at shows and obviously, we don't claim that we have screened all 3,000 people, yes, but yes, you yes. still get a feel. A vibe, yeah. Those people are not the comedy-going crowd. Yeah, not not the regular like uh, Thursday night comedy show. I'll go no. watch a show, see what it's like. This crowd was there with the mission. They were yes. like, I'm here. I'm here to see Russell Peters. Yes. I know him. I've seen him. I support him. I'm here to enjoy the show. Right. And you could, you could sense it. Now, the one thing, though, is that this is surprising to me is that normally at the Chinese show, you get the audience where they're sitting around, they're like, okay, you know, just, just wait and do nothing. I see a lot of times, let's say at concerts and everything, you might see people like, you know, moving around the music and all that. I did not notice that. I noticed mm. most people just sitting there calmly waiting. They're like, I'm yeah. here for a mission. Yeah. This DJ start from scratch. Mm, okay. Yeah. You know, sure. continue on with what you're yeah. doing. And I, I must say, I do appreciate the video thing. The one thing I did point out to Mo is that I am so, this, this issue with me is that they had a countdown clock. 
Yeah. Right? And the clock had numbers on it, right? Yeah. And my only comment about that clock was, I don't like the font. The font. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm losing my mind. I'm yeah. like, this is a great idea. Let them know in five minutes' time. You better sit down because the show's going to exactly. start, whatever it is. Good concept. They're tagging, like, you know, so, uh, please follow DJ Stuff from Scratch, stuff like that. Right. All good. And I'm just going like, dude, why that font? Yeah. Like, you can definitely do a better font than that. It's a bad font. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> you know? I actually, I agree with you, but I was, it didn't bother me as it much as It didn't bother you, but it really bothered yeah. me. I'm like, dude, <laughs> you even have your own Russell Peter fonts and everything yeah. why are you not using this this yeah. is insane i mean the 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 screen stuff i feel like it was like outdated and not even outdated is not the right word but i feel like no one really looked at it for a while because the opening act they put his uh, instagram account and actually that instagram account does not exist anymore yeah he does have another one so i, I think the the one on screen said comedian uh vishal Vish- or whatever his name vishnu was vaka. vishnu yeah, vaka yeah, yeah. and it said comedian vishnu vaka that was his his instagram, hand- yeah, handle. handle yeah actually now it's vishnu vaka comedy there you go like, exactly no one looked at this <laughs> <laughs> the whole team the whole production the whole you know why because yeah. the font was so bad they're like don't look with don't, don't look at that shit I cannot yeah. even lay my eyes on yeah. that if they use a better font they're like oh we gotta proofread this they're like I right. can't look at that shit yeah yeah, yeah I know knowing so, how, how yeah how these guys can be pretty like strict or like I remember working like bigger shows like this and even like if you want to change Anything on the poster, for example, you have to get approval for the, from Correct. this team. Yeah. Anything. It can be like a phone number. It can be an email address. It can be anything. And they have to approve it again. Knowing that, that's a weird one to miss. It's yeah. Including the comedian himself, yeah. the opening act. It's Especially like, being your handle, man. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Being your handle yeah. in front of like all these people. Yeah. Which also makes me think that this is the same... Uh, writer for the entire tour, which means he has been giving the wrong handle for the whole tour. <laughs> Maybe that's probably why he like lost like ten thousand followers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. yeah, that would be so bizarre. Yeah, so I mean, all the small small things, but then yeah, we're we're coming from a comedian point of view, of course, and hence yeah. we're like picking on these small small things. Oh, we're picking on everything. Oh, but yeah. it's not even like we're not sitting there like old people like. Look how well. It's oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like there is a lot of details, but you can. We are also in the minority. We talked about this after the show. Yeah. We are in the minority. Like you can see, people around us are just happy to see the guy they wanted to come see. Correct, which was yeah. your point. It's Fair like, enough. They're I just mean, there to see. They're not even looking at the screen behind them. They're looking yeah. directly at him. I'm like, absolutely. I can't believe he's there. Yeah. Yeah. Now I. I came back home and I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I remember that time when Bill Burr came to Hong Kong. Yeah. And I like got tickets. The moment I saw the ad, I'm like, I don't care. I'm buying three tickets right now. Whether whoever's coming with me, I'm getting these tickets first. Yeah. And I was sitting, I think, like the third row from the front. Yeah. At Cyberport in the little restaurant thing that he was doing. And honestly, yeah. Like half the show, my brain was like, that's Bill Burr. Yeah. That is Bill Burr. Like I heard everything he said, but my brain was like, dude, I'm yeah. looking at Bill Burr <laughs> the things I'm hearing right now. Yeah. And I, I get it. I, I To be honest, also, same guy, Bill Burr. I've never seen him, but if if I go to the show, I would probably be that. Like, yeah. Dude, I, I know like a few people in my list that, it, like Jerry Seinfeld is one of them as well, just because yeah. the level of influence is too high. Yeah, but, but also Seinfeld is like a, yeah. Yeah, no. a legend. In, a in legend. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But I mean, like the point is that in today's world, I get it when a lot of the new kids are like, oh, Seinfeld, or whatever. I'm like, I, I get it. My my influence by him is a different level. Because like I said, growing up, that's the only thing I could watch. Yes. So if I get to see him in person, I'm like, oh my God, this guy used to be 2D. I yeah. read all his books and all his specials, whatever. Yeah. He's in front of me right now. Yeah. If he even looks at me, yeah, I, I will lose melt. it. Yeah. I will lose it. <laughs> or if he acknowledges me, it's over. I'm yeah. like, dude, I'm sorry, I can't take it. This yeah. is too much. You know, like you actually know I exist. Yeah. Yeah. So small things like that. Which is so funny because having been with you at the show, you got recognized like 15 times. Yeah, it was it was bizarre. Yeah. You know, like and so I was kind of like, oh, yeah. th- thank you. You know. So yeah, yeah, we sat at Subway for a little bit, obviously going in and out of the show and hanging out afterwards with some of the Live Nation people after the show. You were recognized so many times. <laughs> I was recognized zero times. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, like people were like, and asked for, thank God. Like I wasn't as, like, it didn't bother me, obviously, that you're not, you recognized I was not, but I would, it would have bothered me a lot if someone asked me to take the picture. Yeah. I'd I'll be like, me, fuck like, off. Hey, dude. Hey, dude, not happening, <laughs> man. Take your damn Luckily, selfie. it didn't, exactly. Yeah, 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 Luckily, it didn't happen. Yeah. But I was like the, in the corner, like, uh, what about me? <laughs> what about me? I perform in the same show. Yeah. What's going on? Did you remember the other show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel you. Yeah, look, I honestly, that night, I, in my head, I was really, really grateful when people were like, oh, hey, can I take a picture? And I'm like, whoa, you're here to see this other comic. Yeah, yeah. But you see me, you want to take a picture with me. I really appreciate that. I mean, those people also could not afford the meet and greet. Otherwise, they would take a picture with him too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is obvious. The meet and greet people were there for a mission, as yes. I said, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was interesting and it really... 
I don't know, like every time I see people recognize me, mm. especially at these kinds of events, it's yeah. kind of like a little pat on my back and like, hey man, you know, good You've job. Done something right. You know? Yeah, yeah. But then it's also kind of me going like, hold on a second, why am I not the one on stage? Yes. You know, there's yeah. a little bit of that competitiveness yeah. that comes out. But yeah, I again, I, I really, if you ever see me on the streets, don't be shy. Come on over and say, hey dude, like yeah. your comedy. I've always told Unless people, you're a cop. Yeah, unless I'm a cop. <laughs> then don't be like, like, don't like my comedy. No, not, unless not you are a cop. No, unless they are, they are a cop. cop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then don't come over. <laughs> it's good. Just watch my comedy. It's good enough. Yeah. Don't, no, no need to let me know you watched it. <laughs> We're good with that one. I mean, they do watch it. They just... You I'm know. sure they do. Yeah. I'm sure they're screening everything that's happening. Yeah. They just I mean, for you particularly, because you're like, obviously like a... A little bit well, well known kind an of outlier yeah. kind of that as well yeah yeah you know like what is the brown guy saying you yeah know? yeah yeah like, we better be sure I was like hold yeah. on a second I and heard. they can understand you which yeah. is great luckily they're not a waiter in Shanghai so <laughs> <laughs> they're not having that problem of like I hear the words right what yeah. language is this because yeah. it sounds like Cantonese but it cannot be I did like there was a, a funny little incident when you you went to the bathroom and I was outside and then I went after you yes yes that yes. was so funny so. W- I didn't know. All right, I'll tell you. I went yeah, you in. tell me from your perspective, yeah. and then I'll tell you what my story. So I went in, did my thing, didn't get interrupted. Very respectful of all the other guys in the bathroom yeah. at the moment. Then these two other guys, Indian guys, taller guys, came in. They're like, oh, hey, you're Vivek, the comedian. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh. I was like, oh, enjoy the show. I step out, and you go in, right? Right. And then you so, go and in. Then and then I go in, and then here's what I hear. I go in, and I'm peeing by the urinal, and I'm just hearing the guys like, Oh yeah, this guy like he's very funny, whatever. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. Like I'm sure they talk about Vivek because he just. And he's like, yeah, he performs in in English, in Cantonese, and Hindi. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, he does not even speak Hindi. Yeah, exactly. But I do not want to cor- like I don't want to yeah. burst the bubble, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they spoke so highly of you. Yeah. And he's like, oh, he's so funny. I haven't seen him for a while. And they said like a couple of things. And some guy said like, I'm so glad to see him here. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, okay, there you and go. It's yeah. really sweet. I mean, it's very sweet. The fact that they thought... But then I was washing my hands and looking in the mirror. I'm like, should I tell them? I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I let them think so. <laughs> yeah. they'll, they'll wait for the next Hindi show. Yeah. Which will probably be in like 30, 33. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it'll be another <laughs> reincarnation of me before I do that show. Do you think, is there no young Vivek in, in, in Hong Kong? There's no young brown guy who performs in Cantonese? Uh, there's no other Indian guy that performs stand-up in Cantonese in Hong is Kong. Is there any uh, anyone who's not Chinese, or ethnically Chinese, who performs there in Cantonese? There have been a few. But I know, obviously, there was the, the actor who was on the podcast yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's an actor. Yeah, yeah, Talking about stand-up. Actor. No, no, no. There's no like non-Chinese stand-up really? comedian in Hong Kong. Yeah. I mean, you will have a few non-Chinese actors who might like, for example, uh, Kyobobo Gil Paul. Yeah. He's the actor, and he's done his own little stand-up. Mm. But it was more like a drama thing where he had different personas. Sure. You know, one of those character yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of stand-up things. Or like a one-man show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one like of those a... where like now he's the correctional officer and now sure. he's a, that kind of a deal. So yeah. it wasn't pure form stand-up. So you're like in the in the history of Hong Kong, you're the only non, like ethnically non-Chinese person Correct. who ever performs like stand-up. In Cantonese. In Cantonese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wild. That's insane, right? That's insane. Yeah. I think it just level adds a whole uh, uh, extra level of complication because like, okay, speaking Cantonese, there are tons of non-Chinese that speak Cantonese. Yes. Right. Performers, yeah, you get drama, singing and everything. Sure. But the stand up comedy because again, the the l- difficulty of entry mm. is so much higher. Yes. That for them Even to go, with like, your first language. Yeah, yeah, even yeah. with your first language. So it's like that being a second language as well. And also uh just people think like, hold on a second. So I could write one joke, use it once and that's it. Mm. I could write one song, use it for 20 years. Right, right. Hold on a second. Yeah. What's the level of complication here? It's like saying learn Mandarin or, or Cantonese. As much as I love Cantonese, if someone's like, which one should I learn? I'm like, I'll be honest with you, learn Mandarin. Definitely learn Mandarin. Because you'll probably, number one, use it more. Yeah. Number two, also, the chance of you learning it, yeah. way higher. Way higher. Way higher, yeah. you know? So it's like more and like a, pr- like case in point, there is a bunch of foreigners who perform, including Andy and Drew Frey, like who both obviously were in the podcast, but also there are bigger guys. Dashan is huge, huge in yeah. China. Uh, so is this other guy, Jesse Appel, who speaks even better can- ma- Mandarin than Dashan. And he's not as big and he's moved back to the US now, but he still does Chinese shows. And uh, those guys speak like, like a for- Like I have been in situations with Jesse when he was on the phone and the other person on the other line did not know he's not Chinese. Correct, yeah. Like it's just insane. Yeah. You can master it. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah, you can. And, and there's a system to it as well with yeah. opinion and all that stuff. But Cantonese is that much more difficult where you can't go with the system. Yeah. You have to literally just throw yourself in it and hope to survive. Right. Right. Yeah. So I think that's the benefit I have. Actually, on that point, uh, Russell did something smart because obviously some people had the masks on, some p- people had their masks off, whatever. It did not seem, knowing how Live Nation works, if there was a, a, a strict mask mandate, they would have reinforced it or enforced it rather. There was not because yes. it, 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 it's kind of up to people. But I think Russell knew all of that and knew that there was someone who would just walk around, oh, yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. stuck at the mask, and he has already planned to like, 
point at the guy and antagonize him. Yeah, yeah and he yeah, just yeah. said, "What did he say?" He said, "Like, oh, is you mask? The, are you the mask police?" Yeah, he said, oh, yeah, 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 and that got like a huge. A lot yeah, thing. yeah, I, I liked it as well. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. smart. You know, yeah, it's yeah. like a little local jab. Yeah, it makes them, it makes the audience know that you're like, oh, you, you know, you did Correct. some research. You like, yeah. yeah. And it's also something that we can all really guess. You said, but we're yes, all thinking, like, exactly. are we still doing this mass police yeah. thing? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even that And he had this camera guy actually filming point, the yeah, 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 yeah. guy. <laughs> he's on the and the guy, I saw the guy like smirk a little yeah. bit. He's like, that's funny. He's like, what are you going to do, <laughs> man? Like, I can't say they quit my job and like yeah. give me the finger. I can't do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he just continued on with his stuff. Yeah. I did like how he had, uh, Russell had a security guy walk around the room. He has slowly. his own security guy. Yes, yeah. yeah. I recognize the same guy with the beard and yeah. ball head kind of guy uh, walking around. Yeah. And it was just interesting to see him walk slowly comedy and i've always thought in my head these security guys have been to the show yeah. a billion times yeah right and it must be so bizarre for them to just hear the same stuff yeah. or they would know every trick in the bag yeah you know like as a comedian as much as you do crowd work you probably have a few tricks in your bag like oh if i see a i say b of course that's the easy kind of yeah. safety it's net like almost a math equation exactly yeah. yeah so they would know the moment like oh wait from iran boom this is gonna yeah. happen he's and the, the security guy be like yep I yeah. knew that one. Yeah. I, I knew that one. And I wonder if there's a moment that Russell does something original, something different. Does the security guy stop and go like, yeah. all right. Ah, you nice. know, that I happens. saw him kind of laughing a couple of times, uh, which makes me think, yeah, he might have heard like a new riff or something. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, he was. Ma- it was also the, the, the contradiction or juxtaposition. Yeah. I never know how to yeah. say <laughs> Juxtaposition, yeah, juxtaposition yeah. Juxtaposition yeah. <laughs> between this, this guy who was like a big white guy, yeah. no mask, yeah. And then the mask police, which yeah, 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 is a Chinese yeah, yeah. guy with, with a mask, mask on, yeah. and they're both like like policing the room. Yeah. It's just kind of funny. I know, I know. I remember that. That was the ironic thing because, like, yeah, you and myself, we got him, we took our mask off for a bit, and I was like, yeah, you know, what? I'm gonna keep my mask off. I just want to enjoy the show. Yeah. And then I was looking around, like, yeah, right, no one's actually stopping us here. And yeah. even when they see you, they're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, no one. I don't think actually, like, I don't think. I think Russell made a joke about it, but I don't think that guy was actually mask police. He was just general security. Yeah, I think so. I think because otherwise, there's just way too many people without a mask. Correct. Huh? Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. make sense because they'd be like, "Dude, then why are you even here if you're not really doing your job? Yeah. Or it's just there to take a box." Right? And I feel like even something like Clock and Flap, which is I think next weekend. Yeah. Uh, or this weekend, as you're listening, I don't think people will wear masks. There. I doubt That's it. That's crazy. Yeah, they're not gonna. I mean, yeah. I think the Hong Kong government now that they're telling the whole world we're open. Yeah. If it if they came down to it and caught someone at a show yeah. with their mask it's off. It's such bad PR. It's such bad PR, yeah. right? Like, you just said there's no restriction. What are you doing over here, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, you'll see a lot. Like I said, all the, the PR work that the government's doing now for tourism, mm. all the ads have no masks. Yes. So, the last there time... Is, yeah, I saw a, pi- a picture of John Lee with a bunch of, like, a big... Uh, I, I don't know what it was, like, some legislative people or whatever. Yeah. Like, a big group picture of, like, 20 people and yeah, no yeah. masks. No masks, exactly. Yeah, yeah, which is pretty cool to see. Yeah, I mean, legally now, photo taking and no masks is, is okay. Okay. You're allowed to do that. But the whole point, yeah, exactly. It's like, dude, how is this okay when we're on the streets? We have to have I mean, how is, like... I feel like the rest of the world don't even talk about COVID anymore. Like, yeah. not even mention. It's like... It's, yeah, it's, it's over. literally a thing of the past. It's like Correct. the World Cup. No one's yeah. talking about it exactly, anymore. Yeah. It's done. Over. Exactly. Yeah. Done. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> sure. Everyone's like, you're still on this like oh so passe you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and it's yeah it's very weird and i'm sure for even someone like russell he still thinks it's bizarre i'm sure yeah Yeah, it's like why are people wearing masks yeah like we're still doing okay sure whatever i mean yeah asian i guess you know i i I can get it like the more conservative asian mentality will happen over there but it was still like we got actually told i didn't know but live nation people told us some another big name is coming in april which is very exciting uh, so yeah, it's very nice to see like big name comedians coming through. Yeah, obviously music too and stuff. Like Wu Tang Clan, that's huge. That was huge. When yeah. I saw that, I was like, wow. Oh my god, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. It's also I really liked how. I mean, I still think it's expensive, but that's a different <laughs> point. I but I did like how the time the the, uh, the announcements. Yeah, and that was like they're like. Bam, that sold was it. out, yeah, everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah, they had it going, they're like, you guys just wait. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The people who bought it, the, the, the loyal people who came to support yeah. the music, you're in for a treat. Exactly. Everyone else, scramble. Who you're waiting, yes, yeah. exactly. Go nuts and scramble, yeah. guys, you know. I did like that, that was very smart. Like, yeah, strategic yeah. timing, uh, yeah, the yeah. announcement on the yeah. Wu-Tang Clan. I mean, th- that's what I mean. Uh, I'm hoping with all that, mm. that they'll see that things are back to kind of, well, not back to normal, but like enough that to come on over and do shows and stuff. And yeah. then hopefully that way, all the overseas people will be like, hey, you know what? Let's fly some guys from Hong Kong as well to our big event. Yeah. You know, like the one thing that I really miss the most is that before COVID, there was a lot of like, let's say a show in Kuala Lumpur or whatever. Like, hey, mm. you know what? Let's get uh, Vivek from Hong Kong or let's get some Hong Kong comedians or whatever. Right. Mm. Then it stopped. 
And now you're not even on their radar because yes. they're like, oh, there's because a they have been working for the last like two years or at least one year. Yeah, when we were in quarantine. Correct. And so they were like, oh, because I remember they had asked, hey, you can you know you want to come down? I was like, you know, I really can't because even with the seven days thing, yeah. I'm paying the hotel. It's gonna cut in the the, the the fees I'm making, and then all of the seven days I don't get any gigs. Yes. I can't do nothing. So yeah. it's like it's not worth it. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's a silly sacrifice to make to quote unquote upkeep your brand. Mm. But I'm like, I'll have to rebuild it after that. Of so course. I think a lot of that is happening here. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, so live shows and stuff. Uh, we watched the show, finished the show. Uh, saw people, people hung out. We also even got a glimpse of the meet and greet crowd. Yeah. We got some of that. I'm like, you could just tell with their yeah. poster, walking around like, yeah, yeah. poster, right? The kid, that, I mean, I believe that the people that Russell did uh, pick on or make fun of did get invited to the back. Yeah, so usually I don't think it's it's like that. And Andy can correct us on the, on the WhatsApp group. But I think actually... A lot of the times, the people in the front two rows are uh, already included. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. I figured as well. Because those are like very expensive tickets. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So you better make sure that yeah. you're only exclusively playing with the, that. That's crowd. right. Yeah. And I guess that and actually, from his point of view, you he can actually only the first two or three rows are lit up anyway. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can't actually see past that. Obviously, we have b- both been on like theater stages when you can't see anybody. Yeah. So I think he purposefully lights up the first two or three so he can see them and m- do crowd work with them. Yeah, I think that is fair because like if I paid, let's say, a big uh, hefty fee and I see this other kid who's paid like 10% of what I paid getting yeah. a crowd, I'm like, well, hey, yeah, you know, yeah. I get it. You know, this is also the part of the business. Yeah, and if I say like hypothetically, if I have this money and I want to sit in the front and be picked on, yeah. I will I will make sure that he sees me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, not necessarily like obviously like heckle him or whatever, but I would, for example, wear something, wear something yeah, flashy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wear a red shirt. With yeah, the, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. With something ridiculous Purposely on my shirt. wear like a, like a, a mask with a Chinese flag on it. You know, yeah, like that. exactly. Be like, oh. Or like a fedora. Or something. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, <laughs> wait, wait. He will be like, okay, this guy wants my attention. Yes, exactly. I won't pick on him first. Yeah, of course. He's ready to play. Yeah, I'll play with someone else. Yeah, and then I'll call out on you. Yeah. I'm like, all right, good. Yeah, I see this. <laughs> Let's get to it. Yeah, I don't want to pretend this is not happening. Why? Yeah, and you get into it. You're like, oh, I just want to get your attention, man. Well, you got my attention. So yeah. what about it? I, one with the the downside of that because obviously Instagram is full of uh, clips of like comics doing crowd work, and the downside of that, like now I have seen even comics that I like, like Sam Morrell and Mark Norman and these guys, I can tell that the people they're doing crowd work with are pe- like the person responding in the audience is just like there to like play he's not genuine anymore yeah like i saw sam Morrell does a lot of clips of like pe- him like offering drinks to people when they're drinking like what are you drinking and he and they, like there are guys who just like fuck with him basically yeah because they know it's a game now yeah it's like oh how many drinks you have uh 20 i'm like all right just answer yeah, just yeah, be honest man. just be honest yeah. it's fine like he's a great comedian yeah he'll work he will with work it. with it yeah just don't don't be part of yeah, yeah. That, that just annoys me. Same, like I. But then it feeds itself, right? Because the comics now keep posting these clips, yeah. And then audience go to the shows expecting to play with th- them. To play with them. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the issue. I always tell the audience that the truth is the the best fun is when you're just honest. Yeah. And even if we make fun of it, we're really genuinely making fun of the reality that you're living in. Of course. You know, rather than like, oh, I'm an astronaut. No, oh, no, you're <laughs> not. But okay, let's go with that. Now yeah. that you said it, you know. So in my canting shows before, like I do much less crowd work now, mm. mostly because number one, I used to do. A lot more just for fun mm. and number two i was like i really want to challenge myself where i, like, I want all material right and i remember like every now and then you get the cheeky guy and they're like oh what do you do i'm an astronaut i'm like okay and then what i re- will go with it is i'm like i'm gonna go dead on this and be totally honestly interested in right. this job <laughs> to the point that you're like oh i can't make this up anymore. <laughs> that's, a, I'm, yeah, that's yeah. a great strategy yeah yeah, yeah. if they're like making something up i will believe it wholeheartedly yeah. Yeah. and then go but with you it dig for details until they basically like yeah. You can't get out of the hole anymore. Yeah, they yeah. dug there. So, like, I remember this one, I think an like, astronaut thing, and then I was like, oh, really? That's so cool. Like, I, everyone's kind of like, does he really believe him? <laughs> like, really? Oh, my God. Because yeah. I can only see the moon. What, 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 what else can you see? What, uh, tell me all the stars. Like, yeah. oh, you know. Yeah. Now, when was the last time we went on the moon? And it's like, yeah. oh, no, I didn't know. You, oh, wait, huh? You don't go to the moon? Uh, are you a bad astronaut? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you didn't fail the test. Did you yeah. blow up? What's happening? Tell me. Yeah. And he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, no. how many galaxies do we have? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. that kind of stuff and just digging into it. Yeah. Like, and I think I'm really good with the with the quote unquote sincere interest. Right. Where I'll be like, oh my God. Yeah. Really? Dude, you're the first guy I've ever met. I've yeah. been dreaming. That. And there's <laughs> like, okay, this guy's going to kill me now. <laughs> yeah. So that works out. That's I, smart. I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. I, I think the other thing I got, like, I remember last time we went to Studio 33, we had a show, and in the front row, this lady kept getting up and down to go to the toilet. Mm. And 
halfway through, it was just a guy next to her, and she'd gone again. And I was a host, right? Mm. And I was asking him, like, hey, dude, like, is she all right? Like, I, I mean, I genuinely mean that. I'm not trying to be like, oh, what's wrong with her, right? Yeah. And I was like, is she okay? He's like, oh, you know, just has a weak bladder. Mm. And I'm like, oh, man, that's, that's terrible. And she comes back, she's like, ma'am, I was like, ma'am, are you all right? Because yeah. I was joking about how I got sick and stuff like that. I'm like, mm. I can introduce you to like a private clinic. And right. I know these guys, they'll probably give me a referral fee. So, you know. Yeah. And then she was like, uh, what? No, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm like, you've been to the talk so much. Are you okay? The bladder's all right, you know? Yeah. And then she was like, oh, wait, hold on, what? I'm very confused right now. The whole crowd's losing their mind. Right, right. Because here I am going like, uh, genuinely caring about right. her. Right, yeah. And she's like, why are you caring about me? <laughs> the boyfriend's going like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have said that lie. Yeah. She just needed to go to the toilet that's all yeah. it was you know <laughs> yeah yeah so i think that's what i really thoroughly enjoy but yeah like we yeah we finished the show we caught up with with some people and overall i'm just happy that th- that it shows now at this level yes. in hong kong yeah and hopefully it will just keep getting better and better um go to a, li- a live comedy show that's all i can yeah. say just go to the next live, whether it's big or small especially small yeah uh, but even like the big show like we need more stand-up obviously here i genuinely suggest you do one thing like Go to one big, one small, and just compare the vibe. Not even compare the quality of the comedy. Yes. Compare the vibe. I always feel, as a performer, I like the small rooms. Yeah. Just because that vibe is like, whoa, this is nice. And you can see the room. You can feel the room. With big shows, it's a different vibe where I'm like, I'm projecting to the end of the room. Correct. But you're not really getting the full experience of like, I can hear every single person laughing. Yeah. You hear a wave. And you, know? you hear comics like Russell Peters and Kevin Hart and all these guys on podcasts and stuff and interviews saying that they prefer the small rooms Correct. as well. Correct. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it also, it just makes sense. Like... It's less, less, uh, less like performance, less more like exactly more interaction, yes, more yes, connecting, yes. exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the difference, really. Uh, but yeah, uh, Russell Peters, uh, big show, obviously. Uh, person coming in April, not at liberty to announce yet, uh, but uh, lo- do look out for that. And uh, yeah, come to our next show. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>